There's no doubt about it. The power of attorney document is a very powerful one, and people are justifiably concerned, and they come to me before they send, they have their reservations about what it is they are giving someone else the ability to do. And I'll be the first one to tell you that in the wrong hands, the power of attorney is a very dangerous document. But I also hope that I can alleviate some of those concerns. So one of the first, one of the typical questions I get is, is, is people are afraid of losing the power to act for themselves when they designate the power of attorney to somebody else. And that is not true as long as you have capacity as long as you're able to make decisions for yourself you are not losing any power by signing a power of attorney document now this other person can act within the confines of the document while you still have capacity but um, but if you, you retain the ability a to revoke the power of attorney and you retain the ability to do anything you would ordinarily do even after you've signed a power of attorney document. So, uh, for example, if you need assistance paying your bills and you want to give your child the ability to do that and to conduct banking transactions, as long as you're capable of doing so, you too can go into the bank and they will still deal with you. You are not losing the ability to do that. But where the power of attorney or the durable power of attorney is very, very valuable is after you lose the ability to make decisions for yourself, after you really lose the ability to be able to think, whether it's a physical disability or an intellectual disability, uh, as we all get older, eventually we're gonna need people who we trust to be able to make decisions for us. And the question is, do we want the court and a judge to make that decision, or do we wanna make that decision as to who's gonna act with our best interests in mind um, and do we want to be able to make that decision before we actually become incapacitated? And that's what the power of attorney document does. It's not the loss of power. It's an incredibly empowering document. And that being said, yes, if, um, if whoever you designate to be your agent wants to take advantage, they can steal. They can go into the bank and just like you can walk into the bank and if they have the, the appropriate uh, power of attorney document, they could take that money, go to Vegas and put it all on red or run away to Polynesia or wherever, wherever they want to go. But barring that, um, the, 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 risks, the, the risks are fairly manageable. It's also important to note that people, it's not a license to steal. There are consequences to people abusing their power of attorney. There are criminal consequences and there are civil consequences. That being said, you certainly don't want to give this power to anyone other than someone you trust. And quite frankly, when people come to me and they say, I can't trust my kids. I'm afraid of what they're going to do. Maybe they have a gambling habit. Maybe they have creditors. Maybe um, whatever the case might be, everyone's family dynamic is different. There are professionals who are held to a high higher fiduciary responsibility that you can hire in such a case. Um, if we are not able to find someone that we trust, that we feel trustful enough to uh, allow them the power designated to them by a durable power of attorney document, our really our only other choice at that point becomes um, entering into a guardianship proceeding. And there are situations where that, in fact, may be recommended. Maybe you want a judge to oversee all these transactions, so there's some oversight, and sometimes that is quite valuable. The downside, of course, is you have to hire, you have to pay an attorney more money to, to engage in, in, that, in a guardianship proceeding, and that can be very, very expensive and time-consuming. So barring that, it's very valuable to have someone you trust in place as a durable power of attorney. And if you do trust that person, it can be a very powerful document to obtain the benefits you need to maximize your quality of life, especially when you can no longer act for yourself.